one of the known side effects of the GLP-1s, according to the research, is a loss of lean tissue. And it's more, the, the, the research says, you're losing more lean mass than what you would lose from dieting alone. And so there's a strong argument for making sure that we are resistance training while taking these medications. That is your defense against losing lean mass while on these. There's a lot of women that claim that for the first time in their life, and they're, most of them are not obese. Most of them have maybe 10 or 15 pounds that they're just not happy with, but that it's really, it, it has taken away the food noise that is just constantly in their head. So most of these women have been dieting a good majority of their life from teenagers up to this peri post menopause space and this time frame. And the elimination of the food noise is huge. That comes, that comes from a GLP-1. If we're looking at someone who might be against it, that has been really life-changing for some females. Yeah, and I would have nothing but, nothing but applause for, for that decision to help them live the life they want to live. But in the end, again, uh, as you mentioned that obesity, we have to worry about getting that weight off with or without exercise. But for the, I would say the majority of, of women that, that I'm working with that are, uh, that are not obese, there are some, but that are not obese, you cannot skip the behavior change, the resistance training and the nutrition component. And by going on these medications, you have to tackle those for long-term success. Yeah, and one of the known side effects of the GLP-1s, according to the research, is a loss of lean tissue. And it's more, the, the, the research says, you're losing more lean mass than what you would lose from dieting alone. And so there's a strong argument for making sure that we are resistance training while taking these medications. That is your defense against losing lean mass while on these. Okay. Well, you said dieting alone. What about a female that takes up running, that's a runner or a triathlete, any kind of endurance athlete that goes on a GLP-1 and is doing cardio as well? Is there the same or, or no, no, no. Let's take a endurance athlete that's in her mid forties to mid fifties and that isn't taking a GLP-1, but reduces her calorie intake, but is not strength training. Do, would you assume that the weight loss would be, the lean mass loss would be similar to someone that was on a GLP-1 that was just dieting only without exercise? No, if, they're, if they are physically active, even if that activity is endurance-based, that is enough of a stimulus on the muscles to maintain a lot of that lean mass. So we, we see that throughout a lot of the obesity research when they come when they add cardio with dieting they maintain significantly more lean mass than just dieting alone mm -hmm. now is it as good as resistance training no but it's aerobic activity with dieting retains more lean mass than dieting alone any type of activity is 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 on the plus side when dieting but you cannot cut corners if we are trying to hang on to lean mass and to be in a calorie deficit you really have to make sure that the resistance training and the high protein are there to hold on and, and prevent the body from hemorrhaging muscle tissue during this calorie deficit um i think that depends if we're, if we're going to use the word hemorrhage hemorrhage uh, i can't say the word if we're going to use the word hemorrhaging thank you <laughs> That really depends on what's, how aggressive is the diet phase. If the diet is somewhat moderate, the, the need for resistance exercise and high protein becomes less important because the body's not in a, as much of a catabolic state. Mm -hmm. But as the caloric deficit becomes more and more severe, 
the greater the importance of resistance training and high protein. Now, I live in a world where I know what happens to muscle mass, as do you, during the menopause transition. So I want to do, I want to pull every lever I can to prevent that from happening, one, and then even as we age, just to maintain as much muscle as we can. So I'm always on a programming message where we want optimal protein and we want a resistance training stimulus to optimize muscle mass.